Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 4 training part one. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the three main PCM types we're going to be working with with this Gen 4 platform. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about the three main PCM types that we're going to be finding and working with with the GM Gen 4 platforms. We're going to find we have an E40 PCM, an E38 PCM, and an E67 PCM. Now the E40 is going to be the oddball of these two, so the primary two they're going to be working with are the E38 and the E67, but we need to understand the differences and what each are going to represent. So let's jump in and take a specific look at the E40 first, and then take a look at the others a little bit later in this video. Okay, so let's talk about our E40 PCM. Now this is gonna be the oddball PCM of the GM Gen 4 family. This was a transitional point or a transitional PCM going from a GM Gen 3 to a GM Gen 4 found in the 07 and newer model years. So this was uh, some, some notable differences from the GM Gen 3 ECUs. Now, some of the architecture is there for the GM Gen 3. However, there are some differences and some programming differences that we need to be aware of. When we get to that point in the training course, I'm gonna be pointing out those differences. Now, the biggest physical differences that we're gonna find is that the uh, E40 PCM is used just to control the engine side of things. So if you're running an automatic transmission, it does not control it. It has a separate TCU or transmission control module that is gonna be out of the ECU. It's gonna have a separate TCU. So the older GM Gen 3s had a TCU that was built into the ECU. That's gonna be one difference. We're gonna find that the logging or the memory has been upgraded in this. It's going to have a one megabyte memory space where the older GM Gen 3s only had a 512 kilobyte. So it's a little bit faster in its logging, which is gonna help us when we do our tuning. And then we're gonna find that it's only compatible with a 24 tooth trigger or reluctor wheel. That's gonna be the crank pickup wheel that's on the engine. When the engine spins, it's gonna count the engine position, the engine speed. So we have to have that on the engine. We have to be able to count it correctly or the PCM won't be able to run the engine. Now what's notable about that is the LS2 engine that was found in the Pontiac GTO, the 0506 GTO or the Trailblazer SS had a 24 tooth trigger wheel. And if we're swapping in a newer style engine into those cars, such as an LS3 or an LS7, they have a 58 tooth trigger wheel. They're not compatible with the ECU, and the 58 tooth trigger wheel is only compatible with an E38 or E67 ECU. If you get into that situation, you either have to swap the trigger wheel that's on the engine, or we're gonna have to go in and run a converter. There's converters that allow it to convert the pattern